Hi, welcome to another video. It is Saturday today. I was thinking about it earlier this morning. I always say like, happy Saturday or like whatever the days that I'm filming the videos. But then I thought like, what does that even mean? Because I never like or really upload like on the day that I film. So like if I tell you happy Saturday and you watch it on a Sunday, then it kind of has no point. But anyway, it's a habit. So happy Saturday. We just got back from the shops. We just did our groceries for this week and I thought as always we can go through the things we bought for the week we bought a little bit more or like we went a little bit over our weekly budget but that's fine I bought some odd stuff that um, cost a little bit extra um, we just went to Woolies we actually got everything there we were planning on going to check as well and then we kind of when we paid at Woolworths we were like we don't actually need anything else so there was no point in going to checkers as well and yeah we went to go have coffee this morning at tiger valley with my parents which was so nice and then later jason's gonna go out with friends and i'm gonna be home chilling so hard last night i watched five episodes of selling sunsets because it just came out i think season five and it's not that I think that it's this like amazing show necessarily, but for some reason, I don't know, I keep wanting to watch the next episode. I don't know. So yeah, I really binge watched that. And then I think I'm just going to continue watching that tonight and just chilling. And then later on, I will go fetch Jason again when he's done. But yeah, I thought I'd just give some little bit of like story time because it was quite the emotional week i would say so i had a planned procedure at the hospital for wednesday and i didn't have to sleep over at the hospital it was just like a day hospital that i had to go to and anyway so tuesday evening i got home from work and i got here and i like looked at the bunny and i was like he looks very strange and I called Jason and we like looked and it I kid you not looked like he was dying and it's that's not like being dramatic that was like he was like lying like flat but like kind of stiff and his eyes kept closing and we like moved him and he didn't really like react to that or anything he couldn't get up and he was like kind of lying by his water bowl and obviously I was like, you know, what the hell is happening? So that was quite the shock because it did happen like as I walked into the door from work. I like put my bags down, always go and greet Bunny first. And then I saw that and I was like, what's going on here? Anyway, we've never had to like take him really to the vet in terms of him being sick. He's always been pretty like good and so this was the first time so anyway we don't know any like vets around here that does specialize in exotic pets because i know normal vets does like cats and dogs um but you have to go to an exotic vet so we had to call around it was like five o'clock in the afternoon so we were like where do we go we don't know anyway ended up at a exotic vet in durbanville which is quite far away if you think about five o'clock in the afternoon in terms of traffic and then we had load shedding as well so at luckily they stayed open till like 6 30 i think so we managed to we left at five we got there at six so it took an hour so now he looks like he's dying he hates like driving in the car like he doesn't like the motion and stuff so like i think that also caused him to feel even worse Anyway, luckily got there at six and they were like super helpful, asked us a bunch of questions in terms of what he eats and all these kind of stuff and anyway, had to leave him there and it was so sad because we, you know, like we kind of like a whole world revolves around him and like his things and like, you know, like we don't leave him alone really, you know, like 
we don't sleep out unless like we have a place for him to go and sleep over at and all those things anyway so leaving him at the vet was very sad and like driving away and like being like he doesn't know where he is he doesn't understand and he's not feeling well but the vet was super nice and just they like was super soft and they explained everything to us and gentle with him and we they confirmed it's a him so luckily um we now know after three years it's him and yeah it just it was very very sad so they did a whole bunch of like blood work all the kind of things x-rays they did like everything he was on a trip overnight so he had to sleep there overnight luckily there was also other bunnies so he had some company i don't even know if he's ever been around other bunnies to be honest um but yeah so he was there and then the next day they called us and kind of told us what they're going to do so they kind of buffed his teeth like shortened it and it was quite sharp so they i don't know whatever they did they did something and they like gave him anti-inflammatories antibiotics and like some tummy medication i think and they did more blood work so they, like they were super thorough which obviously made us feel good and then wednesday afternoon luckily when i was done with my procedure jason came to pick me up he also um went to go pick up bunny and yeah they didn't really know exactly what caused that kind of situation but they kind of i don't know had like a broad like idea of like it might have been his tooth that was giving an issue um but also maybe you know some infection in his tummy um but nothing like super serious we were just super scared because it might have been that he was in the moment not feeling well but maybe if we left him he would have gone better by himself but at that point you don't know and what if we left it and it could have been like you know super dangerous so we, we took the chance so it was a very very emotional week unexpectedly super emotional and that's also why this weekend i'm like i'm not doing anything crazy like going out for coffee this morning and buying groceries is like literally the extent of it i don't want to do anything i want to just like relax and obviously after my procedure i also just want to like chill a little bit and make sure i'm also feeling 100 percent anyway so that is quite a mouthful but that was this week so that's why also i'm just gonna watch movies tonight and whatever and i don't want to go out so i was like jason like do whatever you want to do but i just don't feel like doing anything this weekend anyway so that's my sad little story about this week bunny is now 100 percent fine he's running around we're still giving him his meds through a, like a syringe in the mornings and in the evenings and i think it makes him a little bit like sleepy the antibiotics but other than that he's eating well he's running around he's doing his naughty stuff again like chewing on our wires and stuff um so i think he's all good but I, we do feel a lot better that we in any way took him regardless of the fact that it wasn't super serious it it could have been so and they did a whole bunch of checks so now we know you know his blood sugar is normal everything is normal you know like they are very happy with him so we feel a lot better it was very expensive but doesn't happen every day so i guess it's fine anyway so yeah so now we're on saturday and i bought some food i need to go pack these things in the fridge and the freezer so let's get going with what's happening here so firstly before i jump into everything that we bought of Woolworths, the other day we went to pick and pay surprisingly i found stuff that i really liked and we don't always go to pick and pay but lately i feel like the times we do go we find like stuff that's not bad at all anyway so two things that i want to show from pick and pay which i will tell you i've been looking for so long and no one has it so seeing it there at pick and pay it was like this is very nice so 
firstly, I've been looking for bags of frozen waffles and I know some places have like four packs or whatever, but I was like looking for like a, you know, like a bag of frozen waffles that you can toast. And yeah, I got these at, at Pick and Pay and Jason toasted some of them this morning and he said it was very tasty. So yeah, that's one thing that I was super happy about. And then the other thing that I'm even more excited about is the bag of hash browns, which looks like this. So we've always bought the hash browns from Spa, which is in a box. Um, but I've also been looking for like a big bag of hash browns. And then I can also just put it in the oven or the toaster or whatever. And it's just super convenient and we love, 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 love hash browns. So we have, I haven't tried these out yet, so I'll now compare this with the one from Spa. But the ones I really, really don't like is, I think it's McCain and it's, I think it's called Smiley's. And that's terrible. And that is not a hash brown. I don't know what that is. It's squashed potato. Anyway, I don't know what that is, but we tried that one out and that was terrible. So I wouldn't recommend ever buying the McCain Smiley's or whatever it's called but the spa ones in a box is really good and then I would hope that these ones are going to be super tasty so anyway so I just wanted to share these things from Pink Bay really really good okay first up from Willie's I got this this is new it's oat biscuit mix so yeah um, I mean it kind of that's what it is <laughs> there's nothing more to it but it just looks like this and I just am excited to try this out and see how this comes out like little oat cookies so um, so this is quite cool because it gives you a recipe here on the side of like obviously the things you need to like make so because you need to add butter and eggs but there is a vegan alternative recipe on here because I think the ingredients are vegan and then if you add so they say you substitute the egg with a tablespoon of ground flaxseed and then you put water in there and you form a like a paste and then you just add coconut oil or vegan margarine instead of the butter. So then it's a vegan oat biscuit cookie. So I feel like that's quite cool that they give you, you know, both options of wanting to make something. So anyway, got that. Did not go the vegan route because we bought the eggs. And we don't really eat eggs ever, like ever. So now we bought the eggs, but I didn't know that it had a vegan alternative there because I do have ground flaxseed, so I can make that. So maybe I'll try the vegan one and then skip the eggs. So yeah. Next up, for no other reason than I was craving this, is these mini garlic baguettes. You can see those. Um, I just felt like it and I'm going to make that as soon as I come back from dropping Jason off, I'm gonna make that um, in the oven because we don't have a dry, so it would have been perfect in the dry, but the oven will have to do. And then, next up, I have soup that I'm gonna freeze. This is the pea and ham soup, and I, I don't know, this is a good one. This is a really good one, and then he wanted the mushroom one so i'm gonna have this one and he's gonna have that one but i'm gonna freeze this for somewhere in the week where you can like defrost it take it out and it's just super easy to make next up we got these cassler chops which we've had before and it was on a special and this is quite rich i must say like i like this is enough we can't eat more than this but it's nice when you like cook it or whatever and then you chop it up into like fine like strips and stuff but we got this for somewhere in the week then we also got this chicken, it's, this is actually the lemon and black pepper like snitchel situation which I haven't had this flavor yet, we just got that. I am a sucker for like a chicken, crumb chicken breast chicken snitchel situation, so got that. Willie's had a deal on mushrooms, I can't remember what it was but like it's buy two for something and we do have some chicken a la king sauce that we want to use. So I'm going to throw this in there when we make that. Next up is just some sausage. So I'm not a fan 
of this big sausage but it's always on a special and it is quite tasty it just I prefer like a thin one but what we did get is this I think this is new ish maybe it's not new but this is a braai relish with tomato and onion with sweet chili so we got this and we're thinking if we make the sausage and we like chop it up with this that can be quite tasty I feel so we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that then who doesn't love a chicken nugget I love a chicken nugget anyway so I got a bag of the crumb chicken nuggets there's like 48 of that in there so yeah that's gonna be oh you can see on the sign so that's gonna be super nice What would a grocery haul be without a bag of nachis? Got that always. And it's also the first thing when you walk into the shop. So it's like, of course, first thing in the trolley always. Then, some people think this is gross, but I love this. Where's the other ones of these? Oh, here. I've had this the other day and now I keep buying it. This is smoked sardines in vegetable oil and it's the green one. They have different colors for different ones or flavors, but this smoked sardines in this can is, I, I can't describe it. It's the best thing ever. So I have four of that because they usually go in a deal. I think it's 245 Rand or something like that. It's good. It's, it's so good. And a lot of people think it's gross, but I don't know. I just love it. Next up, we just got two of these guacamole smashed avo um, things. It was two for 55 rand, and we really enjoy these. To like put on toast, it's firstly super easy, and we also include when we make like wraps and stuff. Next up, I got some butter for the cookies, but now I don't know if I'm gonna use the butter, so I'm gonna have to freeze this if I don't use it. But anyway, it was also on a deal. We bought like two for a certain amount of money. So we just got some butters. So we've been trying all like the Mexican things that Willie's has brought out recently and they got like quite a good variety of things to make like tacos, burritos, enchiladas, any like Mexican stuff. So the one we haven't tried yet is the chili con carne cooking sauce. So this one we're gonna try and use somewhere this week. And then we also got the sour cream sauce, which I do think it's gonna go so well with like a burrito enchilada Mexican bowl situation so these two we got this was also on a deal with 20% off next up is essence which is so random but I wanted like the mint essence for making peppermint mocha coffees at home and then Jason wanted a caramel one because he also puts that in his coffee sometimes so we got some random essence and then lastly we got two of these cans of Mexican chicken and bean soup which I'm super excited about I think this is new but we love these canned soups but now we have this one which I think I mean it's it's gonna be super flavorful and it's medium chili so Anyway, so we got two of these as well for some way for lunch or whatever. And yeah, that's a wrap on the grocery haul. I'm going to pack this away now and then I'm going to go drop Jason off and I'm going to come back and I'm going to make my garlic rolls in the oven and then I'm going to binge watch some selling sunsets and then yeah, that's going to be like the weekend and then it's Sunday again, you know, and then it's Monday again because Sunday goes like this. Anyway, I hope you had a good weekend and enjoy your week and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.